Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Hero Bishop. And today, I'm going to talk about my top 10 grail statues, which that changes all the time. Sometimes one's a grail piece. Sometimes it ain't. I've already got, got three of my grail pieces this year. The brown suit, uh, one-fourth premium format Wolverine, the old school Punisher, and the gut statue from first four figures. But at the moment, these top 10 would be my other ones. Uh, Jim Mint and uh, my boy D-Rock kind of got the wheels turning with some videos they made. So I thought, damn, I need to go on and make one. Anyway, stay tuned. These action figures on my shelf, man, they drive the ladies crazy. Look, oh, I'm watching comic book movies, so they wanna have my baby. Look, oh, look, oh. And also, uh, these are in uh, no particular order. They're just whatever. So the first one would be this Batman statue. I don't even know where to find it. It's got to be a custom. But to me, I was like, damn, that's the dopest one-fourth Batman I've ever seen. I love the uh, black on gray costume. That's always been my favorite look for Batman. Rather than the blue and gray or the all black, I like that black on gray look. And this statue just looks badass. I don't know who made it, if it's a concept or what. I was Googling one-fourth Batman statues and, a, and the image popped up. And I was like, damn, this is the... This would be the grail of uh, Batman statues for me. A lot of these too, man, are like ones I would get if money was no object too, because some of these are pricey as hell. But that leads me to this XM Studio Swamp thing, man. I wish uh, maybe Sideshow or somebody would come out with a premium format Swamp thing at that scale, because like I've only ever seen huge 1,000 plus like over crazy price pieces but definitely uh this swamp thing would be a nice one to have by xm studios yeah this sideshow cable i can't remember if this is pre if this is premium format or maquette or whatever they call it i think it's a premium format but this statue i've looked at i've seen it on people's instagrams i've watched reviews and it's just like to me the perfect cable statue got the old school hair the big guns like it's just it's a shit like and i've looked at it a lot of times man like damn dude i need to get that but just never have pulled the trigger the figurama collectors one four scale a la carte from helsing it's like over a thousand dollars for this thing and it's sold out pretty much everywhere that i've seen so i would probably have to find it on ebay for some crazy prices which i'll probably just wait and maybe they'll come out with another a la carte Helsing statue. But this thing right here, man, it's badass. To me, it's like the perfect uh, a la carte statue. And if I were to get an a la carte statue and money wasn't any object, I'd get a, I would get up on eBay and pay the two Gs or whatever the fuck these uh, people want for it at this point. But definitely dope statue. The Sideshow Premium Format Classic Catwoman definitely have, has to go on this list. Uh, I got an Iron Studios 1 10th scale, but you know, there's just nothing like the 1 4th scale. Uh, and Jim Ballant, man, he drew the best Catwoman. And this statue is looking super dope, super thick. And uh, hell, maybe they'll come out with another one. I don't know, but definitely have to put this one on the list. Now this Psylocke statue. Damn. I'm pretty sure it's a third party or just like a custom fan art studio. Uh, I saw it on eBay. Um, it's in my things that I'm watching because I think I am going to eventually get this. But this is the dopest Psylocke statue. Uh, you, <laughs> you may not agree. Uh, she looked quite ready for battle. You know what I'm saying? But dope ass, dope ass Psylocke statue had to put this XM Studios 1 4th scale magic dark child statue on the list. Uh, super dope. I love the character. I actually have the uh, Iron Studios 1 10th dark child or magic statue on pre-order. But this one right here is a statue I've always thought was sick as hell. But it was just kind of out of my price range. And, and if you know you've been watching my channel, I, I only just recently started buying 1 4th stuff. So... 
But man, this is a nice statue. Also, we got that Q Collectibles Judge Dredd. I barely see any Judge Dredd statues, let alone one-fourth, but this thing is badass. It's probably the best looking Judge Dredd statue that I've seen, but it was like, I think like a thousand dollars. So it was another one that I had to skip, but man, it's dope as hell and definitely putting this one on the list. We have the Iron Kite Studio Age of Apocalypse Wolverine. I already got my Grail Wolverine statue with the brown suit premium format, but definitely always have my eye on this. Age of Apocalypse is probably one of my favorite things to ever happen in X-Men comics, and this statue is just super dope. Weapon X, uh, you know, it's a good looking statue. It's pricey, but hey, it looks dope as hell. To round out the list, I got that Prime One Studios Femto on here because it just looks badass. Um, of course, it was pretty pricey when they were originally selling it, but now it's crazy on the aftermarket. And uh, hopefully one of these days I'll find one at a good price, but it would be dope to have this going up against my first four figures gut statue and it would look sick if they were displayed together. But yeah, that's about it for now, man. Maybe I might come up with another list later because like I said, my grill pieces change, man, you know. But uh, let me know what y'all think about these statues in the comments. What are your grill pieces you've been looking at? And as always, I appreciate you watching. Much love and respect. Peace.